Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Jim with Serpentine Dream. I figured I'd do a hold back video. I was going to do one sooner, but um, I have one girl who just did not want to eat, so I want to wait until she got a few good meals in her. Um, it's not her though. This is a, a leopard spider female that we produced. Um, she's definitely going to be one of my hold backs for uh, some future projects. Love a reduced wacky pattern. The leopard spider combo. All the dots and spots from the leopard, the stripes around the tail. The leopard does wild things. It's a really, really neat gene. Uh, can't wait to produce a bunch more, and she'll be uh, she'll be part of the genes for that. So now, this is a male that I also produced. He's a leopard pastel spider. So had one more extra gene than the female you've seen in the previous video. Still got a little bit of a little hatchling attitude. The female's not too bad. She's pretty calm. He gets a little huffy and puffy. Um, you know, just like her with the uh, leopard pattern, all the spots and stripes near the tail area. Um, but of course, like I said, he's also got pastel, so a little bit brighter than her. You can see his head's a lot lighter than she is. It's very cool. Leopard is just really, really cool gene. Just staring at me. But I'll definitely be keeping him back uh, for some future breeding as well. Uh, can't have too many uh, three gene males laying around, so we'll definitely be uh, putting into some girls here most likely next season. Now, this is a leopard pastel male. Um, some have decided on him. I may keep him, I may let him go. I'm not sure because I have the three gene male, so I really don't have to have the two gene. Uh, then again, he's just very, very unique looking. Got kind of some blushing on the head, real kind of cocoa color in his black. Of course, the uh, you know leopard does some funky stuff with the pattern, so but he's just really, really unique looking. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure yet whether or not I'm gonna keep this little guy. I might, I might not. Like I said, I got the three genes, so I don't really have to keep him. Uh, time will tell. I don't know if someone makes me a good offer, maybe I'll let him go. But uh, as of right now, I'm probably going to hold on to him, see what happens. All right, this girl here is a keeper. I'm going to have to hold on to her because she will not quit running. Um, this is a banana cinnamon champagne. Uh, love that face on her. Uh, but yeah, she did not want to eat. It was going on seven weeks. She still would not eat. Tried to assist feed her a couple of times. Um, she'd keep her mouth as open as she could and just sling the, uh, the little pinky right out of her mouth. So, I said, unfortunately, she's in shed right now. Um, and I was fortunate enough that she's a banana cinnamon champagne that I actually got a female. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the blue eyes right now, but yeah, she's she's in a pretty good shed right now. That might be why she's running so much. She's uh, probably a little bit blinded at the moment, but definitely going to be a holdback girl for me. I said right now she just wants to run, so sorry the pictures and photos aren't going to be the best on her right now. But anyway, she's one of my keepers. All right, this is another girl that I produced. I'll be holding on to. She's a champagne cinnamon. Um, love the oranges and the cinnamon. Of course, it really does look very cinnamon, especially with that orange highlighting it up. Let's see if I can get her to get her to crawl out a little bit. Let's just put her down here. Come on, show me your pretty face. She's like, nope, don't want to. She got a. Nice little uh, little ringer going on there, and that stripe just goes all the way. That orange stripe right in the middle, of all that cinnamon, that blushed out cinnamon pattern. Come on, show us your little head. She like, nope, not today, not showing it. Come 
Come on, you can show us. There we go. Well, you can see, you can see a little bit of her head there. There we go. Good girl. Yep, she's going to be another one of my holdback girls for future breeding. So, and that's not her shaking. That's just my hands. So. <laughs> All right, now this is not anything I produced. This was actually one of my pickups for this year. Uh, it's a spot nose Mel. Um, be my first uh, spot nose gene. I uh, really wanted to kind of pick one up for the collection. Spot nose does some pretty cool stuff. I'm starting to see his head kind of poking out a little bit. And he's got a little typical hatchling uh, attitude too. He's not uh, he's not too sure about me yet. Keep seeing this strange guy open up his cage and I just think about probably tagging me. <laughs> anyway, I love the head pattern and the spot nose. It's really, really neat. But hopefully next season I'll be uh I'll be doing some spot nose stuff, so very gorgeous snake. Love the colors and of course the head is just the head's just awesome. All right, this is also another pickup Mel. This is a mahogany Mel, of course. has to be in shed because uh, they know exactly when you want to do videos. But when you have, you know, as many snakes as we have around here, you're bound to have a couple in shed when you decide to shoot a video. So, um, yeah, it's generally a lot brighter. Um, you know, kind of the tan colors are a little bit more orange. and But he's a lot more vivid when he's not in shed. But it'll still be fun to play with. Uh, I didn't have any mahogany jeans in the collection, so I really wanted to pick one up. And uh, you know, when I pick up new jeans I don't have, I typically like to pick up just the straight jean itself without really anything else in it, at least to begin with, um, just so I can, <clears throat> you know, really get and get a full uh, view of the morph and exactly what it's all about, and and then see the differences myself from when I, you know, put other jeans and stuff into it. So, but there he is. In shed and all. So that'd be another male I'll probably playing around with next season. Alright, this little boy here. Um, he was actually a pickup, albino pinstripe. Um, I had not had any albino in my collection yet, so decided to go and pick one up, play around with. Love what the uh, spider does with the albino. It's all that wild pattern and kind of striping and looks really really neat of course albino so it's going to have the uh, the red eyes but definitely be fun to uh, plug him into some girls uh, the next season or so gorgeous snake so the albino and the spider just it's an awesome combination a good look at the head there Say hello. And this is a Lemon Blast girl that I produced this year that I'll be holding on to. She uh, she wants to do some running here. Very pretty girl. The oranges and stuff are awesome on her. That's why I decided to hold her back. I know the camera's probably not really doing it justice, but be good for future breeding. A couple genes to play with on some other combos. No. Yeah, she's not real head shy, so getting her to ball up's kind of kind of difficult. A little bit of piece of shed there I gotta work on. There we go. She uh yeah, it's winter time here now, so Humidity's dropped about nothing, so I gotta really keep the cages wet. Get a little bit of stuck shed here and there. Then I'm alright with a little piece. It's not nothing major to worry about, so. But yep, be a few seasons for her, I'm sure, but we'll definitely be getting her into some projects later. Alright, here's another animal I did not produce myself. Um, this is a Super Pastel Bright. Um, See a lot of things on the bright gene. It's out there, but it's not it's not as common as a lot of other genes. Uh, basically, from what I understand, it's it's somewhat of like a fire type gene. So 
we'll see. Um, some of the combos I've seen are really, really cool looking. Um, you see that pastel, super pastel with the bright. I mean, it's half its head is almost just pure white. It's a really, really good looking male. Gonna get his head out here in a second. Maybe get a good peek at it. Come on, buddy. People want to see you. But just a gorgeous looking snake. Yeah, it really has, you know, I got some fire and I'd heard about the bright and then when I saw this guy I was I was like, yeah, I gotta have that. He just he's awesome looking. Can you get your head out there? Oh there we go. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. We tried. There we go. Alright, sorry about all the shaky blurry video there trying to catch his head, but a little white spot up by his nose is really, really neat looking. All right, this is a male I produce. I'm holding on to, and he has no fear of my hands, so he uh, he's not going to want to hold still. Like I said, blue eyeless sissy. He is a uh, Mojave and a butter combo. Um, decide if I was going to have a act like super. I'd, I'd do one with two jeans in it. So a yeah, very beautiful example. Really, really white. Has the blue eyes. He'd be an awesome breeder. And he's growing up pretty quick. Oh, sorry, Got a little bit of shed there on your head, buddy. I said it's winter time here. The humidity is pretty much gone, so I gotta really keep a good eye on their uh, on their humidity and try to keep the shed off of them when I can. It's only bad thing about the white snakes bedding anything just just really shows up on their skin. Alright, but yep, he'll definitely be going into the breeding program. Alright, this is a cinnamon pastel female that I produced this season. So I'm definitely holding her back. For the, probably be, you know, two seasons from now. Gotta give the girl some time to grow up, so. She's another one that's not super scared of my hand. So I'm getting her to hold still. And using the camera with one hand is not always the easiest thing to do. But she's a great eater. Um, I mean, she she doesn't really refuse a meal. You gotta love the the pattern and colors on her. Get a little bit of a headshot here, maybe. But yep, she'll be going into the program here in a few years. Can't uh, can't have uh, too many two, three, four gene girls. So definitely gonna hold on to her. Alright everybody, bear with me, I got another runner here that uh, is going to make me film her while I'm holding her. Um, I got really lucky, this is a banana cinnamon pastel. I got really lucky this year with my banana clutches. Uh, I know the one I showed you earlier, the champagne cinnamon girl, uh, was a, a banana was a female, and so was she. So... I can get her to hold still for a few minutes. Anyway, her colors are oranges and yellows are just, they're just insane. And she has a cream stripe, broken stripe all down her back. But yeah, I got lucky. I actually produced two females um, out of my banana stuff. So I was super thrilled with that. Uh, considering that my banana male is a male maker. Um, he produced tons and tons and tons of males this year so I have no doubt he's a male maker as you can see she has no fear of my hand she just wants to run so can't really get her to ball up especially with one hand but like I said she's a beautiful girl she's grown quick I mean she's eating she's eating crazy that's her and a cinnamon pastel we'll uh, definitely be doing some breeding with her in the next few seasons all right sorry about the crazy video with that one you're getting a lot of my arm and a very little snake because she's moving so much yeah, she's just gorgeous all right, this is another cinema pastel female that I produced um, made two of them decided to uh, 
hold on to both of them for some future breeding projects. So, of course, she's not going to hold still just like the last one. Sometimes this is no fun doing this with uh, just two hands, especially when one's on a camera. Oh, she's coming to get me. Yeah, she's a real pretty girl, just like your sister that I showed earlier. And she went to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, time to put her up. Alright guys, got another female here. A cinnamon pinstripe. She's a, she's another mover and shaker, so I'm kind of having to hold her. Because she will not ball up and hold still like most baby ball pythons. So, her pattern is just awesome. But definitely be holding on to her for future projects. Get her head at all in here. There you go. There you go. Hold still for a minute. No, oh, she's not having it. <laughs> anyway, I love her pattern. The way it's all broke up and spotty. So, definitely be holding on to her. Breed her again here in a few seasons when she gets big enough. Just like my other one. She's, uh, one of my other females. She's, she's tearing up some food. So she's, she's growing pretty quick. Uh, my earliest hatchlings this year were back in uh, August, um, so she was one of those, and she is just monstrous. And this is a male from my banana clutch. This is also, you've seen his sister earlier, this is a banana cinnamon pastel as well. Um, I hit two, three genes on that clutch, and of course one was the female, and this is the male. He's another mover and shaker, so I'm trying to... Getting to somewhat hold somewhat still. He's a very pretty boy. I'm definitely gonna hold him back for, for next season, do some breedings. And uh, maybe even pair him with his sister a few years down the road when she's up to uh, weight or you know, ready to breed. That way, uh, See what kind of supers we can actually make out of this pair. So, be a pretty pretty cool combination, I think. But this is the uh, this is the last holdback. This is my male. I um, also have three uh, pickups from Tinley Park. I'm not going to show them again. Um, I just did a video on them a few videos back. So, if you want to see those, if you haven't, uh, just go back a few videos and you can kind of check those out. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll keep everybody posted and updated on, on what's going on throughout the breeding season here for 2017. I hope everyone's season's going great. On that note, take care.